hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys the economic and financial crimes commission efcc has never been fit for purpose it has never been fit for purpose because if it was fit for purpose rather than it being a political tool for the government in power and by the government in power i'm not just speaking about the malam buhari regime ever since this organization was set up by uh obasanjo back in those days this organization has has been used for one thing and one thing alone as a political tool to launch at the government in powers enemies this is all the efcc is there for if the efcc was fit for purpose then all of the geos the general overseers or the chairman or however you choose to term them of all of the nigerian churches will now be in kirikiri eating that diet of beans and stone which is the diet of course that they feed the prisoners in nigeria so with that guys i bring you this breaking buhari will be impeached before the end of 2020 unless and this is according to a prophet joshua so it's that time of the year again when all these chances will come out with all their, their their prophecy or prediction or however you choose to term them but really it's a, just a gbt move you remember of course in uh what year was it that donald trump came in when tb joshua was saying that a woman will be the next uh, president of america and then when trump came in he then said no it wasn't like a a woman that he meant he meant a war man a man with a woolly hair you know this sort of rubbish that we hear from these people they do this every year which is a form of false description a false narrative and a really fraudulent act which will be looked at by the efcc but the efcc of course as i said is not fit for public because this is the sort of majority that these people used to cajole people to then have them line up in their uh, four courts to be putting tithes and offerings in their basket as they go off to buy uh, private jets so again the headline breaking buhari will be impeached before the end of 2020 unless and this is a prophet joshua saying this so now let's see now what this uh, criminal has to say the presiding pastor of christ foundation miracle international chapel lagos prophet joshua onoha Chukuwana, has said that president Mohamed buhari may be removed from office before the end of 2020 so now he started with may of course leaving himself a get out clause so we continue according to him the president can only survive the looming danger if he is able to wither the storm till the end of november 2020 so now he's put a proviso there of course which then allows him to get out of it of course in the course of uh, this year as it is in the course of any year the president of any country and more especially the president of a country like nigeria will go through a lot of tribulation it has never not been the case and it will never not be the case so this is not anybody saying anything new this is a matter of antecedents and this is a matter of something that is the set to the set play this is the norm within the nigerian space that all the presidents in the history of nigeria go through tribulations every single time so now this guy is now saying the president would be impeached by november unless he's able to weather the storm the storm is immediate and is concurrent and is every minute and is uh, relentless and unremitting within the nigerian space so this guy now saying this thing means absolutely nothing this guy is not saying anything look at the ridiculousness the president will uh, be out of office by november unless he's able to weather the storms so <laughs> anyway let's just carry on it's just ludic it is it's like i said the efcc if it was fit for purpose will round up all of these geos and put them in kirikiri and have them eat that uh, uh beans that uh, the prisoners are reputed to be fed within the nigerian system which is like a part sand and part uh, uh beans anyway we carry on chukuma who spoke with Chinedu 
Adano in Enugu also urged the Senate Chief Whip, O.G. Kalu, and the Chairman of Air Peace Limited, Chief Allen Oyema, to act fast and save their lives and businesses from total crumble, stressing that their cases require more spiritual than human solutions so now this now guy is just is just abstract statement this uh guy is saying this is the thing let me just cite you an example which is really one of the things that irritates me about uh these sort of people my mother and i'm talking about my own mother is a lawyer so there was a time back in those years ago when we were at bar beach just having like a family day out when suddenly this man in a white guy Garment, came just uh, chanting and you had this bell that was ringing and he suddenly came up to my mother and he said oh the Lord has said to me a prophecy that madam you are a trader well, man, then my mother said no I am not a trader I am a lawyer he said ah in the eyes of the Lord uh, the law is a trade too so you see this sort of GBT and why you why also it is really from that round about that period that I've cotton down to these guys that they are just corn men and frosters to the core so you would have like um maybe your child has just graduated university or something and then you go to the pastor and you say oh pray for my child and you say oh how old is this child and you say it's 23 24 or she is 23 24 and from that he already knows that that child male or female is in that bracket if he, if it's female now let's just use a female example so if you go to the pastor and you come from like a middle class sort of background you go to a pastor and you say oh pray for my daughter who is 23 24 that pastor immediately knows that that your daughter has just come out of uh, university freshly and if you are bringing uh, her to him for prayers then really it's two fronts she's after a job or a husband so then of course he would then go do go do go do go do go do go do and do go do go do go and all this kind of nonsense that they do and they say oh the lord has told me that there's a man in the future and a job employment you know this there is this uh, the same narrative now but it's always double dutch because they always open that window as an escape hatch for them to escape what they are saying if it doesn't pan out in the way that uh, they have predicted and really they pray for it not to pan out in the way that they have predicted so that you can come back and they can task your wallet and your purse more to say that oh if you had done all of the things that have uh, told you to do did you miss one item did you skip a bit oh that bit that you skipped is the repercussions so bring another set of money so this is not the gbt now this guy is now saying that uh malam buhari will go through tribulations in the course of the year because november of course is effectively a whole year so what president in nigeria will not go through tribulation in the course of a whole year complete nonsense of course but we carry on this is now the full text of uh what uh he has to say so this is the question what should nigerians expect in 2020 and this is his answer i saw danger chaos buhari should be careful if mr president survives what awaits him as god showed me from now till november ending then he will serve out his term so although that's spelled as team so whoever wrote this is uh didn't do a bit of editing so i think that's a typo so he will serve out his term i uh, will put it in the right context but as it stands now buhari would be removed either by impeachment or sickness this 2020 this is much that i would disclose the president must be very careful from now till november to avoid crashing out if by any chance he survives the red flags ahead of him in the spiritual realms from january to november ending then he will complete his second tenure complete wayo wayo man of course but he carries on god hinted that he will expose many fraudulent fake pastors uh -huh. that's just the joke of the anyway let me not let me not ramble because this this 
people do jar my senses particularly the two sets of people that jar my senses the most are nigerian politicians and nigerian pastors i don't know anything about the imams because of course i don't come from that muslim sort of background i come from a christian sort of background so i have that understanding and the two people that jab my senses the most are nigerian politicians and nigerian pastors and you might well say that the two are intertwined and you would get no argument from me so we take it from the top again god hinted that he will expose many fraudulent fake pastors especially ritualists parading themselves as men of god the same fate awaits occult politicians except if they repent as god warned that the power of kingdoms that they have rested their faith in will disappoint many of them many politicians will lose what they have in 2020 let them return to god and they will be saved he still carries on there would be more difficulties in 2020 let nigerians pray for god's mercy that god may help the country and her citizens except by god's mercy there is danger ahead and things will get worse for the country politicians beware many politicians who feel that they have amassed enough wealth would become hungry many politicians will go to prison i saw the party going into shambles as a result of uncontrollable squabbles that would make some party chief tend to start exposing their dirty secret deals in apc to the public i see nigeria being attacked if care is not taken i saw a severe outbreak of dire internal crisis which some alien fighters capitalized on to attack the country the external fighters came through one of the opposing groups the way out is that nigerians should turn to god god is angry with nigerian politicians because countless innocent lives being wasted on a daily basis are crying for vengeance let our leaders do the right thing over 80 percent of various calibers of nigerian leaders are evil diabolic and they operate under evil influence i saw more religious crisis and more christian killings in the country christians should be fervent in prayer i saw killer muslims rising against christians i saw increased attack on christians in parts of the country i saw some elements attempting to islamize nigeria but god said that such attempts would fail but its failure would then prompt more attacks on christian let our leaders do good be humane and turn to god let nigerians christians especially be prayerful and alert that's the way out how do you see the current travails of chief allen oyema and senator ojikalu so that's the next question now that has been put to this uh 419 guy Carlos' problems is more spiritual than physical. His present predicament is just a tip of what awaits him spiritually. The former governor really needs God's mercy. If he does not take urgent steps to repair rise in his leaking roof, his house will crumble irredeemably. Mark my words, thus says the Lord, God of Hebrew, there shall be no remedy for him except he heeds this prophetic injunction urgently so of course that is already a call to uh oji Kalu to come and uh, part with some money for prayers and whatnot because of course this is just like a gbt preaching but then of course that is just the way of nigeria and we carry on as for Allen Oyema, he played into the hands of strong politicians. His case is that when a child loses his guardian, the child should run back to the house. Chief Oyema's guardian, who had been interceding for him and guiding him and covering him like an umbrella, is no more and he has to be careful the kingmakers had read a different meaning from his rare show of kindness when he brought nigerians back from south africa during the xenophobic 
crisis. They felt the man used the gesture as an image booster ahead of 2023 presidential election. They think Onyema is interested in the presidency and they want to tarnish his image at all costs and bring him down. The Spirit of God said that Onyema should stay off politics completely. He should not run for any position and he must not sponsor any candidate until further notice. He should be very careful so they do not waste his life. The Lord showed me, and by me I mean him, not me, the Lord showed him, this pastor, two organized evil that are being planned against him, and that's Oyema, of course, either to destroy him and his finances or to eliminate him from the surface of the earth. So Oyema should stay away from anything politics and face his first call. They have planned his case to be an unending travail, coming up and dying down intermittently, thereby causing him continuous destruction and economic hemorrhage. He should look for a sincere man of God to guide him and envelope him. So now let me just pause there for a moment. He's saying he should look for a sincere man of God. So now if somebody is giving you all this prophecy and whatnot and asking you to go and look for a sincere man of God and by you by the way I'm talking about the multi-billionaire Onyema so if he's saying he's seen this prophecy and he's asking him to look for a sincere man of God which other sincere man of God then is Onyema to look for other than the man that is making the prophecy and is that prophecy well the solution to this uh, predicament and this tales of woe that this guy has listed is that coming for free you and I don't think it's coming for free so of course it's a dollar call so this is gbt again at its finest but we carry on he should look for a sincere man of god to guide him and envelope him spiritually they have opened a chapter for him let him close that chapter and it will be well with him there is high optimism in some quarters that he would pull through his uh, present ordeals via the appeal court do you share this view so this is the next question i've been put to our uh pastor one you see so pastor one you see says it is only god that can give true liberation if not why didn't the apc save him why didn't all the monies that he had pumped into the party buy him liberation? I do not know when Nigerian politicians would learn to take divine messages seriously. So I'm not quite sure who is speaking about here because the question is not guided in any direction. But it looks as though he's speaking about a politician. Are you angry with the senator? So it looks as though we're back on a Odikalu now. So that's the next question. Are you angry with the senator is the question now. Yes, I am because I want him. Look, during the 2019 general election, I told an influential traditional leader from Enugu names which held Kano's close friend that this would happen to him. The monarch had requested that I should pray for the former uh, governor and after the prayer i told him that oji would win the election but that he would not achieve his main aim of joining apc i told him point blank to inform oji kalu that he would be used and abandoned in apc the traditional ruler is alive you can go and ask him i also asked him to tell kalu that if care is not taken that he would end up in jail and made to pay all the money that he was being persecuted for. I had explained to the king that what Kano had anchored his trust on would fail him. The traditional ruler later told me that the former governor does not regard such message from men of God. So the problem with Nigerian politicians is that many of them rest their trust on all sorts of ephemeral powers which usually disappoint them in the end. The question and answer session still carries on. You said that Carlos Travels is spiritual than physical. So that's the next question now that has uh, uh, been put to this uh, 
opera when you see of a preacher man and this is what this majority guy now has to say in response the lord said that the politician is aware that he had extremely sinned against god god said that there is something precious to him that carlo had handed over to the devil may what i saw that may befall the politician not come to pass god said that what the senator had trusted on was waning away let the man act fast and save himself and his economic and political status from crumbling the former governor must seek urgent spiritual help because it may be difficult for him to pull through what awaits him i have been warning nigerian politicians to turn to god satan does not give anything for free evil gifts usually ends in regret only the power of God and divine blessings last. How many politicians do you see their children naturally and genuinely replacing them after they die? This is because they commit all manners of evil. Uh, let me just cite an example before I just carry on. We can quote Saraki as an example right there. Saraki is, of course, a politician that replaced his uh, uh, sagacious juggernaut of a father politician to exceed now this colossal father that he has in uh, the political game so that is just one example that came immediately to mind uh out of all this rubbish that this guy is spewing but then let's just carry on so we pick it up from the top again that is because they commit all manners of evil to gain power and to retain it thereby blocking the future of their children what politicians do not know is that no evil power could compare with the measure of power that comes from God, which are even easier to maintain and more secure. If you visit families of most politicians, you would see manifestations of negative effects of evil. Why acquire the kind of wealth and political power that would expire and waste away after your death? Many politicians in this country are living with one chronic or terminal disease or the other. Many of them either have disfigured children or experience other turbulences that they are managing secretly. But when God blesses you, he will keep you and preserve the blessing. What should Senator Kalu do to receive God's mercy and liberation? So that's the next question that has been posed to this uh, chancer. Let him seek divine help. He should... Uh, and, and I don't want to carry on too much. Let me just give you this piece because now uh, it's just getting too much for me. So let me just re give you this piece and then we'll round it off there because the guy just rambles on and it's all, as you can already tell, just incoherent gibberish. So this is his response to that question which I will make the last question that I'm addressing. But I will put... I may... I, may, I, will, I will not say I will, but I may put a link to the article so you can go read it in full if you are so uh desired or so inclined so the last question again what should uh senator carlo do to receive god's mercy and liberation and this is what this uh crook has to say in response let him seek divine help he should know what to do his liberation would require a process there is still a window for him to receive god's help he knows what he did he should look for true men of god for help so this is really it's a clarion call effectively not just to kalu or the kalu himself but really to uh Oji Carlos bank account. So this is a guy now after a payout, a payoff after money, and this is really all that this narrative is. Uh it should seek men of God to prevent this thing that I have seen. So which men of God is Carlo going to seek other than the man of God himself that is making the prediction? And of course then, this guy will now draw, draw him up a wish list, which at the end of it all, 30, 50, 40, 100 million uh, Naira would have left uh, 
Carlos account and ended up in this uh, uh, so-called uh, pastor's account. And this is the narrative really and this is the gameplay. And this is of course why Carlo probably dismissed him out of hand when he tried to access Carlo via some local ballet in Iboland or whatever, some local chieftain who he felt was uh, friendly with Carlo to say, look, the Lord has said, uh, go and tell your friend that she'll come and see me and bring his checkbook all this sort of nonsense uh, so as i said the ESCC in nigeria is not fit for purpose because if it was fit for purpose then this person really should be speaking either out of kuje prison or kirikiri but of course he has all of the uh, lay of the land to be straddled because of course gbt is what sells in nigeria money and power those are the only two things that count within the nigerian space nothing else and if you think anything else counts within the nigerian space outside of money and power then you are just being uh liberal with your uh mental faculties i'll just put it that way because i don't want to use too strong a term so conversations in the comment section the preacher man and the prophecy this is really what this video is all about what says you what is your experience do you have a direct experience of these elements and all of this uh con act that they put on within the nigerian space have you experienced it and how have you handled it or do you have a story to tell or do you just have an opinion come share any and every with me in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you are making of the nigerian preacher man in the comment section so i'll leave you here fellowship with you in the comment section but here i say peace